Hello everyone, this is G-Shock High Fashion Channel and welcome to another G-Vlog. Today will be a serious video because we're just gonna have a look at the engine of this very model. This is the Casio G-Shock G-2800. It operates on Casio 2534 engine or module. I'm pretty sure there are a few more watch out there that operates on a similar module. So if you own a watch that operates in this exact module or if you're just thinking about getting one at least why not have a look first what you could do or get out of the money that you paid to get one of these well, let me just quickly explain the button first we have the adjust button on top here this will be the mode this will be the reverse will be the forward both of this will be used at the watch setup and maneuvering all the uh, stopwatch timer and such the one in the middle is to light on the EL light of this watch, which will close for about 2 seconds. You cannot set the afterglow durations and as you guys can see, the light, the EL aren't as bright as most G-Shock watch on the market. But if you use this at night time, that will become coming handy regardless. Five button operation, two on both sides and one in the middle. And let's move it on to the one on the watch face. Next, we're gonna have Casio WR20 model down here. Top solar indicating that this watch is indeed a top solar model, and that is also explained with this solar panel on the side of the watch display. In this tiny ring is called the battery indicator. So I am currently at full charge. This eye drop shape is divided into six parts, but actually there are just three. One two and three so right now it is at full charge so everything will light on when it is going to medium this huge parts will light off and so on and so forth this top display will show you the year the one in the middle will show you the time large display very big just for a quick uh, display comparison this is a DW5600 G-Shock watch and just look at how big the time display for both of this model so the time on this G2800 aren't accurate just yet because I just swapped the battery so I really need to set everything back. So I'm thinking about matching it with this uh, DW5600 that I have right now. So moving on, we have day display down here and also date display over here. The glass here is actually mineral art sapphire but it's not fine, they are, aren't as easy to get scratched on regardless because they're still high quality material. And we have save down here save indicating that the power saving mode for this watch is currently on it will automatically be on just by default okay before I proceed with all the watch setup and functions and all i would like to show you guys the test screen of the watch and by that you guys could straight away understand what you could expect or what we are going to go through after this so as you guys can see we have a lot of pixels on top here and this is the gmt you're gonna see this and use this pixel at the telephone mode and also the world time mode and probably most of the modes actually. You have P for PM or AM time indicator, large time display in the middle, auto EL on or off, recovery will appear when the battery is running low, and sleep mode will appear when the watch is sleeping, but aka power saving mode. Snooze as snooze alarm, alarm obviously an alarm, PRT stands for bright alarm, Signal stands for signal or hourly chime. Down here is more time displays, and this is the auto repeat logo will be used at the countdown timer mode. And this music logo will be used at the countdown timer mode as well if you want to mute the sound, yes or no. So that is all that you have at the test screen. So with all that in mind, let's first of all set the time of the watch. Just press the adjust button for about two seconds, and the second counter will start flashing. You could reset this to zero by using this forward button like so or let me try it again like so and press this mode button to cycle to the next setting the watch is by default gonna have a 12 hour time format so all i need to do is just go to here one five four press the mode button now let's go to the minute setting keep pressing this forward button or if i want to reverse i could use this reverse button on top unlike most g-shock where you could only set this time using one single button alone so it's pretty inconvenient where in this case very nice all right pressing mode now we'll go to the time format now i'm going to change this to 24 hour time format instead for me it is much more easier to understand mode pressing mode again press mode again will bring to the calendar setting 
So today is actually 2nd of uh, August. So here it is, 2018, the month of August. The date format will follow Japan date format. So year, month, and day. Seems like I missed it. There it is, 2nd of August. Press mode again. This is the power saving mode setting on or off. It is just much better to leave it on actually. So we're gonna skip this. And pressing mode again will bring us back to time setting and that sums up all the things that you could do in here if you press any button nothing else is gonna happen actually so light button won't do anything reverse button would do anything that's it press adjust and we are done with the watch set up now we could proceed by having a look at other function that this watch have that is first of all we're gonna have a look at the telephone or telememo mode this watch was released back in the year 2000 where smartphone aren't a thing as yet even if that is a thing not everyone could afford those so having a memo in your wrist on your wrist is a really convenient thing it just gets you want to call someone you know so you could register 30 piece of telephone number you can use the adjust button and cycle through all the numbers and letters if you want to name someone i'm gonna cycle through all the things that you could pick in here there's numbers alphabet and symbols and that's it you could register all the way to eight digits or eight letters at the top let me cycle through number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, A, and next I'm gonna go to numbers. Obviously, you could only add numbers in this part of the watch. Cycle through all of them, all the way down. Although they are at the same size, at least you still have the idea. All right, press it just to finish up with that uh, registration, and next it will automatically enter second registration. So if you want to finish with this registration, you need to uh, just press it just two times instead. So if you want to cycle through all the registered uh, phone number, you could use these two buttons, reverse or forward, it will cycle through all of them. In this case, C and number C1, just randomly add numbers in here and as you can see, it will just scroll through on its own. And if you want to reset or clear this phone number, you could use the adjust button. While in this adjusting mode, press reverse and forward both at the same time, clear will appear and keep holding it and you're gonna hear beep and then the watch will erase that information now you only left with all the things that you have left obviously all right that's done on telememo mode press mode button will go to the gmt or should we say the world time mode so unlike most g-shop where you are gonna need to set the world time or the gmt at the time setting in this watch you need to set it separately and that is in the world time mode so all you need to do is just set the time for example we are now at gmt so it should be zero 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 hours plus but if you have a specific time source or reference that for example if this watch aren't accurate you can do so as well so let's say i just use four or five i'm just gonna add a daylight saving time an hour or should i say two hours or any hours that i want now after i'm done with this setup i could set the minutes as well which is interesting most g shop will only allows you to set four hours in this case every single minute press the adjust button to finish with the gmt setup and then you could cycle through to all the city that this watch has registered in there are only 27 cities and 29 time zones however as you guys could see you could manually set every single city time to hours and also every single minutes if you want to it is fully customizable which is very convenient for some people pressing mode will bring us to the countdown timer mode which is the big feature of the watch the yacht timer all right before i turn the yacht timer on all i could do just press this forward button to make the timer runs as a usual countdown timer it has a range all the way to 60 minutes only i could stop this and reset this back to 10 minutes first they just to set the countdown timer if i choose to do so let's say like that only 60 minutes but for the sake of the video i'm gonna set it up to 10 minutes and then press the mode will bring us to this preset you could preset this watch to alert you at the last five minutes or at the last one minute or four three two one minute or so for this demonstration i'm gonna set for five minutes and then press mode again this will be the auto repeat on or off like so using this forward button i'm gonna leave it on press the mode again this will be the notice aka the beep sound on or off i'm gonna leave it on and now press it just to finish with this setup and let's see 
how it gonna turn out. And that's basically how it works and as you guys can see while using the countdown timer you still have access to timekeeping at the same time so it is pretty cool in my opinion stop and reset is back to zero and let's move on to the next mode which is called the alarm in here alarm number one will act as the first and also a snooze alarm you could turn on and off using this reverse button on top or you could set this using the adjust button obviously to any hour or minutes only you cannot set this to any specific date at all Next, this will be the second alarm, third, fourth, fifth alarm, and this will be the signal on or off using this reverse button as well. And lastly, is the bright alarm, B R I G H T. All you need to do is just turn it on and off. That's it. You cannot set anything or any time at all because this is an automatic alarm. And how do you know when this alarm gonna beep? So Kelsey already set this using the solar panel on the front. Whenever this watch didn't receive any presence of light, for example, you leave it like so for about 30 to 35 minutes, that bright alarm will automatically be activated. And after that, when you expose the watch back to sunlight or any source of light for about 15 to 20 minutes, the watch gonna be right after that for about 10 seconds. You can use your creativity on how to do that, but let me quickly demonstrate that to you right now. Okay, that's basically how the bright alarm work on this G-Shock watch and that is all that you have in here. Moving on to the next function is called the stopwatch mode. Precision of 1 over 100 seconds ranging all the way to 100 hours. You don't have any counting or target time at all in here. All you could do is just start, stop or split and second place time position. You could start, stop and reset this to zero. Pressing mode button again will bring you back to home times and that I believe sums up all the features that I could cover in this video for this G2800 G-Shock watch which in my opinion pretty impressive for the price that you pay to get one of these. But again the downside as I already talked in the unboxing of the video is the overall appearance, the rest is just great. Alright guys, I hope you guys found this video a little bit useful, informative, and entertaining as well for your future reference Leave a like if this video does help you. And don't forget to subscribe to see more contents like this coming up in the future. As always, thank you very, very much for watching. This is G-Shark High Fashion Channel, and I'm...